sorry I thought I was finished with this video series but I had one of my subscribers send me in a question asking will the percentage formula work if the percent is over 100 here's the question that was sent in so we're gonna work this question and show how it will fit into this formula we begin by replacing is with 156 go ahead and plug that into our formula next we have the 125 percent out there and we're just gonna go ahead and plug that into our formula right there where the percent sign is replace the percent with 125 next we do not have any other values to plug in so we're looking for of so there are no values to plug in for of so we're gonna put X in there for our unknown now what we're going to do next is we need to solve for the unknown and we solve by multiplying across the equal signs cross multiplying is just like the arrows are showing here so we have 125 we're going to multiply that into X we're going to insert our equal sign we're going to have 100 times 156 and before we move on any further we're going to clean that up 100 times 156 and 125 times X alrighty now that we've cleaned that up let's move on to the next step now what we have to do we have to get X by itself to get X by itself we're gonna to have to use an inverse operation inverse operation you may remember uh, we if you multiply the reverse or the opposite or the inverse of that is division because what we're trying to do is undo that operation so since 125 is multiplied to X we're going to divide by 125 to get X by itself now remember the terms must stay balanced because this is an equation so what we do to one side we're going to have to do to the other we're going to divide the right side of the equation by 125 also so here we go the left side cancels out that's gonna leave X over here by itself now what's left we divide a hundred of uh, we divide by 125 and here's our solution so now we understand what the solution is and we're gonna plug that back into the original equation to see if it works now we we're gonna check our answer but there's one thing we have to look at first we're dealing with a percentage that's higher than a hundred so here's our base on the bottom that's our whole so the answer or the base should be less than 156 now as you look above you see 156 is equal to 125 percent which is greater than our base or the whole so again X is 124.8 less than 156 yes it is so that's one check that that looks like this is the true solution because this is a true statement now let's look at another point to make sure this this is gonna work we're gonna plug it again into the uh, original equation we're going to remove X and put in 124.8 again we're going to cross multiply 100 times 156 equals 125 times 124.8 we're going to clean that up do the little multiplication and seems like it's balanced so if the equation is balanced the 124.8 is the true solution so to the subscriber that sent me this this question thank you